Hi, welcome on ArcLinuxD.com and phase five. We go to take our first steps in Arch Linux world. And um, I see that we have still GNOME to cover. So let's follow maybe, let's first open a browser and take a look at how the site is, is uh, organized. So ArcLinux.d, I'm going to close other tabs and move over to here. So ArcLinux.d, you know by now that we work with phases and learning phases. And in phase five, we are leaving ArcLinux for what it is. And we're going to install Arch Linux. And later, if you want, you can spice up your Arch with elements from Arch Linux back. So you see, oh, I forgot the nice wallpapers or the nice themes for playing, and I want to have that alias and so on. So you can get stuff in from Arco. Now, so as you can see, awesome DSP GNOME is not mentioned here. So it's an, a very easy way to uh, install. But let's, um, let's go over the phases. So phase one, you either choose for an old, let's call it old uh, motherboard or main board and, and or a new FI, so a newer one. So it's two ways how to define your hard disk, essentially how you should format uh, your partitions and all that. Then in phase two, let's take a look. In phase two, you're going to actually install uh, stuff on it in the sense that uh, we need, let's have a look. Where the Yahoo stuff is, is out, but we take then uh, something else, Yay, for instance, or Trizen. And you install all kinds of things in here, but there's no still no user, there's still no desktop, so that's phase two. Phase three is getting graphical, so getting the display manager or the server, so XORG and all that, getting that in. But graphics driver, but still no at this point in time the desktop. So when phase three is finished you still don't know you don't still don't, don't have GNOME like in here so there are 11 desktops we have at this point so one two three four five six seven eight nine GNOME is one and Budgie is missing as well so how to proceed to uh, install GNOME well it's pretty much the same as everything else you have to follow some some rules this is XFCE you go to the wiki of archlinux.org. It's not XFC that we're going to install. It's GNOME that we're going to install. And that's it. So you read here that you need to get GNOME and GNOME Extra in. And that's basically what we're going to do. So just showing you this because we're jumping in at phase three. Okay, so we have already done everything here. We have here all the phases in different little compartments. So if I you can I can do this one in the sense of the UFI or I can copy from here and then it's bias uh, so the, the MBRs thing it doesn't matter uh, the process of what's going to happen is the same but I'm just telling you what I'm working on okay so phase three is finished and I'm going to go to GNOME and I'm going to go to phase four for GNOME. So I'm going to clone this, the situation as it is at that point in time, which is maybe, probably very old, because uh, tutorials on Arch Linux is a while back, in a sense, maybe even six months back. So we'll get some updates in, obviously. So let's get that out of the way as well, and then decide how to proceed. So bad luck. It's on the other screen, so I'm going to put it here and hope that it stays here. It does. So, Arch Linux, booting up, probably a lot of things to do. Now, this means that LightDM is installed. Not only installed, it's enabled. It's there. Okay. Now, if you click here, you, there's nothing to click. So, behind LightDM, a session should start, XFCE, MATE, anything, but there is nothing to start because nothing is installed. Now the trick in VirtualBox is to press the right control, the keyboard, right control and then F2 and F3 or anything to start the TTY. Not Control Alt F2, 
but the right control. And we're in. What we need to do is read, follow whatever they say we should do. And it was here. So GNOME and GNOME Extra are the things we're missing. Okay. Now there's another way to proceed as well. And that's of course work on the GitHubs of Arcanlix D. And in here, obviously we have GNOME. And in the first of the scripts, we'll just do just the same. So this is already done. LightDM is already done. So this is the line that we're going to do now. Okay, and LightDM is already installed. So things are already done, but you can gather, you can analyze from this as well, because we've taken a look at this one and put it in a script. That's all we did. Read, apply. Okay, move it to the sites. So updating, let's see if we need to update. Well, update is an alias from Arco Linux. All right, command not found. It's not a command. So sudo pacman minus s y y u. Let's update everything. Let's synchronize the databases. It's this old question he's going to ask again. It's okay, it's only 1.7. We've had worse. Net upgrade is only 105 megabytes. It's not much. So while that's doing its thing, let's pause the video for a while. Okay, I saw a kernel passing by. So I'm rebooting, letting the kernel to kick in. There you go. So, still, no mate, nothing here. So, control, right control, F2, let's take F3 this time. Okay, TTY3. And then we log in. So, again, what do we need to type? sudo pacman minus S. And let's move that one over here. So let's okay, take that one, the official one, Gnome and Extra. And that's the same here, Gnome and Gnome Extra. Okay, we start typing Gnome and Gnome Extra. If you, you see all this bunch of, of uh, elements, so this is a group package. So if you want to have less, inf less elements, I say Gnome Music, and never going to use it. Gnome Photos, never going to use it, etc you might try and, and start making a script to just install the ones you need and not just everything but at first just start by clicking and entering so he asks a lot of selections here and just take the first one so the default one it's up to you to decide if you want something else but gnome you see how many gigabytes it's going to take gnome is a complete desktop environment so there we go and let's pause the video again because this is going to take also quite a while. Okay, everything installed just fine. We have GNOME installed and GNOME Extra. So LightDM is active. We've seen that if you want to see technical, if it's active or not. System, CTL, uh, M, CTL, status of your LightDM thingy. And there you see the errors, okay. Fine, but it is active here upstairs here you see this green thing my my cursor is moving towards and it's gone so active running so never mind all the errors control C I guess yep sudo reboot and let's have fun so this is gonna be a gnome without any tweaking so this is how gnome looks out of the box always nice to see First impression of an i3, first impression of Mate, first impression of XFC, any desktop is always how will it look without any tweaking. So this is it. This is your GNOME system. You click here, you see here uh, all the possibilities, show the applications, icons. See it's just three bullets, so it's not that much software. Does what was it, two gigabytes or something? So a lot of elements are in here already to have a complete system for video, weather, to-dos, CD, um, sorry, USB, writers and all that. Some games, photos, maps. Okay, so that's your, your GNOME 
system out of the box. This is how it looks. Right mouse click, change background. You can do some stuff here, background, and choose something else if you like that. I actually like this one, so let's keep it. And then notifications, lots of things that I've gone into in Arc Linux D already when we were scripting. So what can you do now? You can say, okay, um, for instance, let's have a look. Firefox is not installed. So what do you do? Termite, not installed, but there is a terminal. So let's have a look at the terminal. What terminal is this? Have I just launched the GNOME terminal? Now the GNOME terminal, for instance, I don't think it's uh, gonna be transparent. Don't think so. So one of the things, well, I like about Termite is the thing that it's, it's it can be made transparent, for instance. Um, so I was thinking about the following. So you don't have Firefox, so you can start. Okay, we have still the keyboard issue that I should check and set. But let's quickly do it like this. So I'm going to sudo pacman minus s Firefox and you start by installing everything else that you require and it will be there at some point installing Firefox if you click here click there and Firefox is here and there we go and you set up your system any way you like so that's warning close and there you go so that's I guess the end of this tutorial installing GNOME was just typing two words to the pacman minus s gnome gnome extra all the lego blocks came in and now it's time to start tweaking more and more all right